Yard Santa 420? That's a great question. Um, I've worked. I've worked with the with the number one ranked strength coach in the United States. I've worked with the Tai Chi Grandmaster. I've worked with a, uh, a top 10 ranked yoga instructor in the United States. Maybe one of the best yoga instructors in the United States. And based on everything I've learned, uh, how do I wait for soccer? There's a lot of different ways that you could do it, right? Because based on based on what tools you have at your own house, based on, or you know, your house or apartment, whatever, based on what tools you have at your school, maybe you got a school gym, maybe your school doesn't have a gym, um, maybe you have a big hill by your, help, your, by your house that you can uh, do, do hill training, maybe you have a big backyard, maybe you don't have a backyard. The more that you develop an awareness of the tools and resources that you have access to, you know, is, is, does your gym have a sauna? Like, is, is there a gym by your house that you have access to a sauna or a cold plunge, right? There's kind of a lot of things that the more you start to ask yourself, okay, what do I have access to? What tools can I use to help myself grow stronger? The more you're curious about that, the better, the better your trajectory for training will, will start to develop. But if we break down weight training Right, you ask yourself, okay, why am I weight training? Well, you're weight training because without strength, you wouldn't be able to withstand gravity. Right, You wouldn't even be strong enough to hold your body up against gravity. So on one level, weight training is important. But on the other hand, it's like, well, if my touch is so poor that when the ball comes to me, I lose it every time, or I can't, right? I haven't developed the fundamentals, and I'm spending more time weight training that I am getting touches on the ball, that will also start to, to be um, a detriment to your game, right? So, so strength's important to a degree, but if it starts to dominate your weight training, then it's actually gonna hurt you. So just being mindful of that, you know, being mindful that you need both strength, strength and skills to perform at the highest level is just something good to keep in mind. There's a tool that's really gonna help um, help you improve your strength on the soccer field because it's so effortless, it's cheap, it's portable, and it's lightweight. This is called an RMT rope. And the reason why it's so powerful is because it's so simple, right? All you do is you swing this rope with, in, with your hands. And why, why that's gonna help you become a better soccer player is because your body's connected from fingers to toes. So as you swing this rope with your hands, you're developing balance, timing, rhythm, coordination. It's gonna help develop your core strength. It's gonna improve your running technique. It's like having a soccer gym at your fingertips everywhere you go in the world for less than 10 bucks, right? You can make an RMT rope at your local hardware store for less than 10 bucks. All you do is say, uh, do you have uh, can I have a piece of rope and then you have them cut it a little bit longer than you are tall so, right so if you're five feet tall you want it maybe five and a half feet or if you're six feet tall you want it six and a half feet and just by bringing this rope with you and swinging it everywhere you go you're going to develop effortless strength effortless strength that's gonna be it's gonna transfer to your on-field performance almost instantaneously because there's no recovery time right a lot of players they spend a lot of time in the weight room and they realize that even though they're spending a lot of time weight training this isn't yielding an improved performance because their weight training is actually it's making them stronger but that strength isn't soccer strength right it doesn't make them quicker it's not making them faster it's not making them jump higher and since they're now adding pounds to their body it's actually making them worse. So, um, so this is a tool that I wish I started training with years ago that really has changed my life. So if you want to learn more information, search RMT Rope plus David Weck, W-E-C-K. Someone else that you want to check out, his name is Kador Zayani. He's got a book called Seven Postures. That's Z-I-A-N-I seven postures and the reason 
why you want to check him out is because using almost no equipment, he'll show you how to run faster and jump higher and also prevent injuries in your in your body. And he's and the and the reason why he's why the person you want to check out over everyone else is because he's 49 years old and, and can <laughs> and can dunk on a 10 foot hoop barefoot. I don't know if there's any other 49 years old 49 years old person who's five who's like five nine and can dunk on a 10 foot hoop barefoot right so it shows you the power of his seven postures right they're just seven stretches that you start to do every single day and that give you a deeper understanding of of, of, you, of your feet and your ankles and your toes that's going to prevent injuries um, I thought I was an athlete before I read his book but after I read his book you're just gonna you know you just feel so much stronger in your feet and in your toes and that strength is going to lead to just uh, better performance on the field and you know a lot of you know a lot of players they buy all these weights they're buying all these tools you know they're going to all these you know high intensity classes CrossFit this that and other thing meanwhile with almost nothing this guy is showing you how you can dunk and be more explosive than anyone on your team using nothing like almost using zero weights and I, you know, when I, when I come to understand that you don't need that much to really improve your strength and flexibility and mobility, it's a paradigm shift. Because most people think, okay, soccer performance, you need a lot of weight, you need a lot of, um, you need a lot of tools, and I don't, you know, that's not the case. You don't need that much to really create tremendous change in your training. Lastly. You know, a lot of players focus on muscles. Not a lot of players are focusing on breathing. Breathing is super important and something that no one's talking about in terms of soccer training. So you may be thinking, well, why is weight, why is breathing important for weight training? It's important because with three minutes without air, three hours without shelter, three weeks without food and water, you'd be dead. Three minutes without air, right? There's players who are super strong but who can't last a game for 90 minutes, and it's the players who can, who are, who are still able to breathe into the into overtime, and who still can make that final run. Right, and they say two players with equal skill, the one with better endurance is going to win every time. So take this test. If you take a deep breath, and your deep breath looks like this, if your shoulders go up towards the sky, towards the ceiling when you're breathing, then you want to check out this video called How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich, V-R-A-N-I-C-H. Her video is going to teach you how to breathe with your belly, which is going to, it's, it's super important because it's going to help you use less energy while breathing, which is going to improve your stamina and endurance effortlessly. This is also going to help you be more relaxed on and off the field just by changing the way you breathe, right? So this is something that I wish I knew 27 years ago. Um, so, right, those are your three. So those are your now your three tools. Your, your ability to change your the, the, the way you breathe, that's step one. Step two is, I would actually go step two, Kador Zayani. Just YouTube search, Google search his videos because even without buying the book, it's going to show you some stretches that are going to immediately start to develop your strength and mobility for soccer and improve your balance and performance and prevent injuries. So this is a this is a, an invaluable resource. Plus, it's free. You know, and if you check it out and you say, okay, this guy sucks, you know, then you know you don't have to you don't have to spend any money on his book or whatever. Then the third thing is. My third question is: Can I make can I make an RMT rope at my local hardware store for ten bucks? Right? If you can make an RMT rope, I promise you, you're going to completely change. You're going to completely change your life because it's a tool. Right? Tools help professionals execute.
tasks, important tasks, and what no soccer players are talking about these days is that an RMT rope is like the best soccer strength tool that's ever been invented. Nothing comes close. So uh, give these things a try. Reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.